What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. So this is something that is really, really awesome. And as a TCG YouTuber, I find myself just a little bit jealous. Actually, now that I think about it, I find myself a lot a bit jealous. And I know that's not proper English, but just roll with me. What exactly am I talking about? I'm talking about how Konami and the OCG is actually partnering up and sponsoring Japanese YouTubers, really popular ones, to promote and hype the Link Reigns pack. And this is just amazing this is also something that is kind of unprecedented on this level you guys know that konami and the tcg they rarely if ever even communicate or <laughs> acknowledge like you know the yugi tubers over here and it's really crazy to see that konami and the ocg is not only acknowledging yugi tubers but they're directly working with them they're sponsoring them and it's not just on a small scale guys they have like six to eight different yugi tubers <laughs> Two, they've given cards from the Link Frames pack and they said, hey guys, you know, make deck profiles, make dual videos, make whatever you want to hype up this set and make players excited about it. And I think that it's kind of crazy that they chose this product for one. Um, I think so because if you really look at the Link Frames pack, as much positive buzz as it kind of has around it, the fact that there are 20 different archetypes, there are so many different archetypes from 5Ds and Zexel, and even as far, or even uh, certain archetypes from like Art V that are getting Link monsters, everybody's kind of excited. You know, me, I'm looking at Gym Knights, and I'm like, yo, Phantom Core is nuts. It seems like this is a product that really wouldn't have needed it. In fact, the only thing that I could think of that was released this year that would arguably need it less would be something like Code of the Duelist, because Code of the Duelist has the brand new Link mechanic in it. It basically was going to sell itself. I do feel that same way about this. So I feel like it is a little weird that they picked this product. But it's just good because not only is it Konami interacting with the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. But it just seems like one of those duh things where it seems like Konami should have been doing this for years. And at least this feels like a beginning. Maybe this is, if it goes well, maybe this is the start of Konami actually having some type of relationship with Yugi tubers And the, the reason that I say that is... If you look at some of the bigger Yugi tubers, like let's just go on TCG. Let's look at like me and Simo and Team Samurai. Like if you added us up, that's probably I don't know five million views a month collectively, just between like three people. That is a lot of exposure. That is a lot of hype that can be created just by three people. So what if Konami actually kind of you know got their act together and did something like this for the TCG? And I understand the other side of the argument. Well, just because you guys are Yugi tubers doesn't mean konami should feel like they have to work with you because maybe you don't fit their image maybe you curse too much etc etc maybe this that and the third as, as to a reason why they don't want to work with you i get that fully but my thing is if you look at konami and a tcg historically when have they really ever worked with any Yugi tubers? Like, surely somebody has to be, someone has to fit the mold of who they want to work uh, with. I mean, I can honestly, guys, I can only remember uh, like a handful of examples. And I've been Yugi tubing for like, what, going on nine years now? I know there was that one time with like Alentio where Konami invited them to like the European headquarters and he was going to get a, a sneak peek at like all the cards that were coming out in the new set. And then it turned out that, you know, like he couldn't upload any of the footage. So obviously <laughs> that was a bust. And they've given like twists, some movie packs, but okay, you you got the whole new movie and everybody's excited and you just work with one person? Like that doesn't make any sense. I think think that they've sent Asian Eyes and uh, Simple and Lucky like packs in the past. But again, it, it seems just on a small scale. And it feels like even if it was just a couple of times a year, not why not work out or at least reach out to the Yugi Tubers and do something like what they're doing in the OCG. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a trend. Or if this is going to be something that's a one-time thing, or more likely it'll be something where they look at it and they say, you know what, you guys did a good job in the sales for the Link Frames pack is they're really good. So we're gonna see if we can do this, you know, a couple of times. But I don't know. I really wish Konami would have some type of relationship with the uh the, the TCG Yugi tubers because think about how much more exposure the game could have if the Yugi tubers and Konami were all kind of on the same page. We bring in millions upon million, not thousands millions of views per month so i don't know it feels like you just can't buy that exposure i mean what if konami this is a hypothetical but what if konami went around 
They took 10 of the biggest TCG Yugi tubers and they said, hey, we want you guys, if you're on board with this, to promote this or we want you guys to choose, etc., etc. We're going to send you each, I don't know, $250 in credit or we're going to send you $250 to pick up the cards for the rest of the deck. We want you guys to either build a deck and explain it to go through, promote the card, etc., etc., promote the archetype or just have a couple of duels and, you know, show yourself maybe smashing some other low tier deck and show what's kind of fun, what can be kind of unique and neat about the new cards and how they help the archetype like i feel like that would be amazing that would be unprecedented people would be so they'd be flipping off the walls and not only would you already or not only would you generate more hype around the set but it would also maybe get some older players who have no idea about these archetypes and about these new cards coming out because when you think of like older players who Maybe they quit at the end of Zexel. Maybe they quit at the, end, at the end or the middle of like Art V or something like that. So a lot of these players are still subscribed to Yugi Tubers. They're just like, yeah, I don't really play the game. But I don't know. They probably don't keep up with the news. But if they find out that Prophecy or one of their favorite archetypes like Insectors, like what? Prophecy is getting an arc, uh, a Link Monster? Madoche is getting a Link Monster? Like, I think I might have to check this out. Maybe I'll start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again for six months or something like that. So this is just something that I thought was kind of crazy because, yeah, usually Konami I mean, doesn't really acknowledge Yugi Tubers, despite the fact that YouTube is this huge, giant piece of the internet, and it just feels like. I, I don't know. If, if I was Konami, I, I would have already been working with like almost every single Yugi Tuber. The Yugi Tubers would have had to give me a specific reason not to work with them. Because, I mean, most of us could probably tone it down for like one video. It would have had to have been something catastro uh, catastrophic. Like, you know, somebody drops the F bomb or somebody drops something crazy in a video to make me not work with them. I just feel like Konami should have been doing this for a very long time. Will we see this in the TCG? I don't know. I guess it depends on how things go in the OCG. But at least for those guys, they're working with Konami. Konami is taking, uh, I, I guess, a step in the, in the right direction because, you know, YouTube is this huge piece of the internet, like one of the biggest websites on the planet. And the people who actually are invested in the game talk about the game on a regular basis. Konami doesn't really have any relationships with them. And it, that, that, is, that just doesn't make any sense to me. So if if you guys have any thoughts and opinions, leave them in the comment section below. I do think it's hilarious, especially <laughs> the guy who, uh, there's a there's a kid, and he's dueling against the Evil Swarm deck, and his opponent gets OP on out, and he starts beating him down, and the kid just sits in a chair and falls asleep. <laughs> It's like, yeah, that's exactly what it feels like playing against Evil Swarm. I thought that that was hilarious because they're they're still keeping their sense of humors while promoting the product at the same time. So, yeah, whatever you guys think, leave it in the comment section below. Would you guys like to see something like this in the TCG? Uh, yeah, I guess answer that question in the comment section below as all, as as well. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on those notifications for daily videos. And actually, hold on, I have to add to this video. I did a little more digging, and I found out that not only does Konami have an official YouTuber page on their website, which features all of these Yugi tubers, but they actually worked with a guy that has almost 6 million subscribers, and his video is, it's ridiculous. He's got cosplay, and he has, like, Cherubini, the Burning Abyss Link monster. He has the new Insector monster. Like, it is amazing how many stops Konami is actually pulled out to work with the Yugi tubers I mean just just look at this shit I'm gonna have a video clip showing what I'm talking about like, how is that? That's ridiculous. Why Why can we not get that in the TCG? I don't know how much money Yu-Gi-Oh! makes for the TCG. I think in the uh, OCG last year, was or last fiscal year, was something like um, $90 million or something like that. The Yu-Gi-Oh! card game brought in for uh, Konami. But even, I, I would have probably assume that it's more in the TCG because Europe, uh, Europe and... 
They're, and, and obviously, North America are bigger markets than Japan. But, like, it's crazy. You can't take, I don't know, a few thousand dollars or maybe $10,000, fly a bunch of Yugi tubers out somewhere and put together some crazy shit. Like, that would be amazing. But it appears that it's just a pipe dream for now. This video has been brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audible.com backslash mega capital G over 180,000 audiobooks to download. And if you get rid of your free trial, you still keep the book. I'm listening to Super Sales on Superheroes by William D. Aaron. Link in the description.